up in the living room. She's been asleep for about a week. Where is Squeak? Where is the sandwich she keeps by the cushion that slipped by the lamp that makes it all green and glowing? There's a note on the table that says, quote, that Squeak's not able to make dinner. Make it or make it? Ambiguous phrase. And Bubbles unable to date it anyway. And why are all the windows battened? If she'd seen the news, she'd know it's against kangaroos. She knows cements to keep the rabbits in the bricks. Everyone knows that. Bubble is jumping herself awake and getting into her jumper. Where's the honey? Bubble needs a spoonful of honey. Meanwhile, Squeak is out on the town. He's playing football or running around, cutting a rug and making a mug out of every clown he runs into. It's summer and a typically bloody hot summer. It's raining. Bloody, typically Sydney is raining. Bubble is reaching up on her toes trying to get away from the mold but it's hopeless mold is a rampaging fungus she retain she regains heart as she walks through the park dreaming of coffee and raisins dark brown raisins all the lovers the park is littered with lovers litter is parked there by lovers skipping so as to avoid the syringes and condoms squeak has taken the car to the beach he fills his nostrils with sand Squirting it all back out in the surf, you can tell he was brought up by hand. All is salty, the man and the car are all salty, and rust in the sunlight. Bubble is nibbling at some cheese for all the world, like she is at ease and not worried. Nibbling at cheese like she's a variety of urban chipmunk or cafe ferret. Taking a pen from her holster, soon she is deep in three across, seven down. Squeak tries phoning, he's lacking in serotonin. He backs a horse on the way home, of course. The nag was named Onion Rings. Squeak gets hungry for other things. Bubble is done, paid. Wondering what's become, down on King Street there's a party for wheat. And Bubble gets caught up in the fervour. Squeak misses out. He's under a cloud, conversing with a four-leaf clover. Party over. Problems of the world solved. Is it a trick, or is that a brick wall made with no cement? Rabbits emerging from the wall, causing it to collapse. Squeak makes tracks. All you need are wax and tacks. It's the Arvo. Squeak pulls up at a servo and listens to the car radio. It plays the race. Onion rings, gets a taste. Squeak is rolling in it, but it's not really enough to roll in. And his rubber duck gets stolen while he's rolling. Holy fuck. Bubble can't believe her luck. She waltzes into a house like a pin and the smell of roast beef cooking. Sometimes your life can turn into a song when you are not looking. Bubble starts wondering about the split between Pumpkin and the family of the pump. Stares at her fork like it's the stalk that's bringing lots of children, one at a time, and each head like a dime. What's on TV now? What's on your mind? There is a crash, and bangers and mash arrive in the living room, sweet as sushi pie. Cards can be played, and debts can be paid, debts of conviviality. Bangers is already dragging his feet, mash is a bear. He's conversing with Squeak, he often converses in bare feet. Playing word games where they are the words and scoring, a pretext, a pretext for conflict. Banger starts hissing like a fry pan that's accountable to no one. Mash is draped over the couch, a streak of butter on legs. Couldn't they find an angle to influence Parliament? Bubble is trying to enact a dada with the spell of a sewing machine. Dada will come when the so-called is done and someone's cut all the raven trees down. Dark brown ravens. Mash has walked up to the ceiling, he's stuck there, and the house opens up, blossoms, every wall a petal of time lapse. No one, no one room is the sky room now, and Teapot is calling, but Teapot isn't human, though his music, as much as anyone, it helps food groups get along. Uh -huh.